Welcome to Effective Wednesday. A small change in a day is good enough. So pick one effective strategy from this show and use it on your language learning adventure. All right, before we start, I would like to let you know that I'm here to help, coach, and hold your hand in your language learning adventure. So if you have questions about language learning or looking for a clear and simple explanation on Chinese or gram uh, Chinese Japanese grammar, send those questions to me because I love questions. So remember send them to me on Twitter, Facebook, or leave them the comment below in this video. I will look at them, I'll read each of them and answer your questions. Okay? So remember I know you have burning question and I want to help you. So send this question to me and I'll answer your burning question on every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So those are the three days I'll make videos about. So just send those to me. Okay? Today in this episode I'm gonna talk about using podcasts to learn languages. Alright. I'm too busy or I don't have time. These are the most common things I hear language learners say when it comes to learning Chinese, Japanese, English, or other languages. I know how you feel when you have just started to learn something new. However, you need to have commitment and motivation to remind you that you want to achieve this, a lifelong skill, something in your life. So, Today, I want to introduce you one of the most effective ways to learn a language, which is to subscribe your favorite podcast and listen to them whenever you are free, whether you are you know, in the car, on the bus, on the plane, or when you're bathing, okay? If you are not a blog reader or YouTube viewer, podcasts could be one of the learning strategy to help you to increase your learning achievement. And also I'd like to let you know like this is my show, Expand Your World Be Bilingual. And I think I mentioned it earlier that I hope to use this show to help you stay motivated during your language learning adventure and also get inspired by other successful bilingual entrepreneurs or polygod and multilingual learners to share their learning up uh, to share their language learning adventure. Okay, so yep, you could you're listening to it. So remember to um subscribe it and leave a review for this show. Okay, all right. Here's my top three reasons why and how to use podcasts to learn languages. Okay, podcasts are free. That's the first thing. And let you know it's definitely free, and you don't have to pay anything. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to buy a book or get an audio lesson, you know, to learn the language. And to be honest, you don't want to sound like a robotic, you know, for example, like, 你好,我叫, like, you don't want to have that. So listening to podcasts is really good, you know, and there are so many podcasts on iTunes, you will find them easily, you know, and really you just search like learn Chinese or learn Japanese. There's a few of them right out there. So you can actually search them on. Okay, the majority of the podcast provides valuable learning resources. Trust me, I think there's a few like Japanese Port 101, Chinese Port 101, you know, and yes, Japanese. Those are a few of them out there. So you can actually just subscribe and listen to them. Okay, second, podcasts are portable. That's right. So you can actually subscribe, download the podcast to your iPhone or on your iPad and listen to it anywhere you know, anytime while you're driving, taking a bath, but make sure that you have your iPhone on a dry area, okay? Or even when you're on the train, you know, if you spend more than like 15 minutes a day to travel from one location to another location, like I say, it's portable, right? So you can actually just listen to it whenever you can. Imagine if you work, if you work from Monday to Friday and you spend more than 15 minutes, you know, on the bus, you should really use this, you know, it's portable. Okay, the third one, okay, podcasts are verbal, okay. 
to be very honest, I'm not a big fan of reading blogs, even I have a blog, you know, I write them and I sometimes I read other blogs, but really sometimes I prefer listen to podcasts. If you're like me, you could start with listen to a podcast. With podcasts, you will improve your listening comprehension and hear clear pronunciation. All right, so those are the things, you know, like the benefits you of using podcasts to learn languages. So remember they're free portable and verbal okay even you're not if you're not a you know you have you don't you're too busy you know and you say that I, I don't feel like studying you know this is good for you just use it subscribe it download it okay all right just want to let you know that besides my podcast show expand your world be bilingual here are two more like my two personal favorite podcasts that i really like it okay um if you're looking for language learning strategy I will recommend you to go to I Will Teach You a Language by Ollie Richards, okay? He speaks um, eight languages, okay? His show is very interactive and he will answer your burning questions by giving honest advice and practical tips that actually works, okay? And his show is on every Tuesday and Thursday, so you can actually send him a question right now and he speaks Japanese and Cantonese too. Wow. All right. That's one more. If you're learning Chinese, all right, and I know sometimes Chinese Port 101, it's, you know, too broad and you're not sure where to go. So, and you just want to focusing on your listening skill and you can go to Slow Chinese, okay? Slow Chinese, search for that. Slow as in really slow. All right. Okay. If you're looking for podcast practicing your listening skill in Chinese, you know, or you take things slow, this is the good one. Okay. Um, it is great for Chinese beginner learner, and of all the skill, listening skill that are the hardest, you know, due to being a tonal language. So with slow Chinese, there is a free transcript on the website available in English in English and Chinese characters, okay? And there's one more, um, to be honest, there's not lots of a Japanese podcast. I know there's NHK War, but that's really more news. But if you're a beginner, I would suggest that go to Yes Japanese, all right? If you go to Yes Japanese, you can actually search them. And yeah, they're pretty good too. They have like Japanese in five, and they also answer, you can actually ask them question, all right? Okay. That's all for today and thanks for listening. Before you go, remember, a small change in the day is good enough. So be consistent in your language learning adventure. I know it's difficult, it's tough, but with all these resources you have right now, it's really motivates you to keep going to learn a language. So remember, if you do have questions about Chinese and Japanese grammar, send those to me on Twitter at Q Kawabe. I would definitely answer your question on every Tuesday and Thursday. So those are the two days I have Chinese and Japanese. And also, please let me know what other podcasts do you listen to? I would love them. You know, I would love to subscribe them and listen to it as well. All right. Once again, thanks for listening and I'll see you the next time.